say. I hope you're all doing well and working hard at home. I'm in school this week, so I'm lucky enough to be able to come back into our classroom. It feels very, very empty without you. I've also got Miss Fletcher filming, so I hope she does a good job. Now, for our book this week, I've chose The Tiger Who Came to Tea, and it's by Judith Kerr. Let's have a look. Once there was a little girl called Sophie, and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Oh, I wonder if that's Sophie from our class. We'll have to ask her if the tiger's come to her house for tea. Sophie's mummy said, Oh, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman, because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer's, because this isn't the day that he comes. And it can't be Daddy, because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see. Oh, my goodness. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think that I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger uh, came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Oh my goodness, he looked very big on that tiny table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the, on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Well, and he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. Oh dear, I think I know what he's going to do with these. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, well, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. <gasps> and then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepan and all the food in the fridge and all the packets and tins in the cupboard. <gasps> He's a very greedy tiger. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and even all of Daddy's beer and all of the water in the tap. Oh. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I better go now. And off he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper and the tiger is eating it all. And Sophie found that she couldn't have a bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's dad came home. Uh oh. So Sophie and Mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drank all the drink. And Sophie's dad said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to a cafe. Oh, there we go, look at that. So they went into the dark and so they went out into the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should ever come to tea again. But he never did. Oh, lovely, it's one of my favourite books. Right, that's it. I hope you keep working hard. I hope you keep smiling and you're enjoying yourself at home. I'm really, really missing you, but I'm hoping that we'll be together again soon. Okay, bye.